Today we have brought you a quick update regarding the Tesla Glass and its amazing features that are used in Tesla cars. Also we will have a rare look at Cybertruck's giant updated windshield. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has released a new video that unveils its secret to a quiet cabin, its propriety Tesla Glass. It is fairly rare for Tesla to produce marketing videos about its technology outside of actual special events, but the automaker decided to release one recently about Tesla Glass. Back in 2016, reports suggested that the automaker is launching its new Tesla Glass secret project and putting Mike Pilliot, a former Apple material engineer in charge. At the time, not much was known about the project beyond the name, but in the following years, Tesla developed its own expertise in creating new types of glass. This glass is used across its own products, including vehicles and energy products, like its solar roof tiles, also known as solar glass. Tesla has put Pilliot in front of the camera to talk about Tesla Glass in a new video, released recently. In the video, Tesla gives a glimpse at its Glass Technology Center in Los Angeles. The main feature Pilliot focused on is the latest acoustic technology that Tesla has introduced in its vehicles. Let's see what he had to say about this glass. So we're here in Los Angeles at our Glass Technology Center where we make all the prototypes for all of our vehicles. And to give you a real life example of the acoustic performance of our side drop, just roll up the window here. And to give you an idea of how comfortable the experience is in our vehicle. So as the designers first sketched the Model Y or S and X and 3, they just sketched the glass from the front of the vehicle all the way to the rear of the vehicle. And we spend a ton of time making sure that each glass position is the right curvature, is the right size and shape in order to give that seamless approach. One of the coolest things that we've done is incorporate acoustic side laminated drops across every vehicle at Tesla. So what this consists of is a glass sandwich. You have a glass outer and a glass inner and in between an acoustic dampening layer for road noise, wind noise that the, the customer will experience and make the inside occupant feel quieter. So what we have here is a 2% tint we use on roofs and, and things of that nature. We combine that with uh, different types of thin films that have properties like solar for reflecting uh, radiation. And we'll combine that with uh, a standard PVB that has uh, different properties. Some have acoustic properties, others have solar properties. So we have to be very uh, careful on what we choose uh, to go into the vehicle. As we look at these large pieces of glass, safety is a huge consideration. So we work with our exteriors, our closures team on making sure it is very safe for our occupants. For things like rollover, roof crust testing, then we go into the thermal aspects to make sure it gets the best thermal performance. The roof itself absorbs 99% of the UV radiation coming in, so it's amazingly safe even though you have this large open experience inside your vehicle. So across all of our vehicles at Tesla, we have a suite of autopilot cameras here in the front of the car looking forward through the windshield. So in, in a sense, our windshield is becoming a lens in front of the camera, and we focus on things with distortion as well as working hand in hand with our autopilot team on functionality, heating function, as well as diffraction of the images that are coming in. And I would say it's part of the way that we're leading the industry and setting the standard for autopilot functionality and the glass quality that's required for autopilot. While most of the video seems to be focused on the Model 3 and Model Y's glass components, a brief section of the video featured Tesla workers moving a massive piece of glass that is not used in any of the company's production vehicles today. The unique glass panel in the video was massive, easily larger than the glass components used in the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y. And while the glass seemed to be large enough for the Tesla Semi, it features a section for autopilot cameras that is very different from those used in the Class A truck. Instead, the section of the glass allotted for autopilot cameras is very similar to those used in the Cybertruck prototype. There are some advantages to Tesla not using a flat pane of glass for the Cybertruck's windshield. A non-flat panel of glass generally takes damages better as they do not cave in as easily when struck with road debris or other objects. Tesla's updated windshield for the Cybertruck still looks quite similar to the glass panel used in the prototype too, so the aesthetics of the vehicle should be kept consistent despite its new glass components. 
That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.